Hi, this is a collective reading for Aries. Welcome, Aries. So don't try and force the crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen. And know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. And so that means um, only take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. And don't and know that it can be flipped around with someone that you are dealing with. And please be careful of scammers. Don't click on any strange links in the comments section. Or um, pay for any readings that you have not approached me for. So, Aries. Aries, yes, Aries. So it looks like something really exciting is happening. Um, I just like, so I started your reading anyway, and it's like financial stability. This is my generational wealth. These cards are by Heidi Dress and Barbara Moore, and these cards here are Rider Wake Tarot by Pamela, Pamela Coleman Smith. So anyway, this is financial stability. This is like money raining down. This is your present situation. So I think this is that you've manifested this. This is financial stability. This is money that has, um, this is going to last for generations. This is like going to look after children, grandchildren, grandparents, whatever, you know, like this is looking after people that um, to come in the next generations. But the coolest thing, the coolest thing about this is that there's this, there's this air sign here. And this, like, this person is a knight in shining armour. This person is someone that's very grounded, very stable, and very loving and caring. Um, and they're wanting to come in to be someone stable for you. This person is very intelligent. They can, you know, be, they can have their own business. And they can also be, um, you know, very business-minded. <coughs> they can also, you know, value logic over emotion. But not only that we have this... But it's also very joyful. So this person could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And it's also like this is really joyful. This is really happy times. Look at that. That's so beautiful. I'm just so excited. So excited for you, Aries. So this is like there's two horses, two horses as well here. So it could be that you are somebody that likes horses. So this person could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is very, in, uh, very intelligent and... They could have a job as a lawyer or a doctor, someone that is very stable. And they can have, they can be a little bit cutting with their words though. They can be quite logical and kind of, can be a little bit cold. But um, matched with this card, this person is very stable and very loving. They want to be someone that is very um, caring, someone that is very um, grounded, someone that is a very caring person that's going to be united shining armor. They're coming in to sweep you off your feet. So it looks like that the influence in the situation is a Libra justice. So this could be a court situation. So maybe there could be a court situation. Um, but it's sort of like this is a balanced. This is like it's um, it's like something that's going to balance out something from the past. It seems like something that you went through. So it looks like, oh, there's double justice. Oh my gosh. So this is so cool. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. So you've had. Um, so it looks like in the past you've had some trickery and thievery. I'm quite excited about this reading because it's coming. You know, quite exciting. So trickery and thievery. Someone. Some quite a bit of dishonesty. People that were not honest with you and it was quite hurtful. People that snuck around behind your back and you know, liar, stealer, cheater, whatever. But this is the coolest thing, is that this is double justice after sneakery and trickery. This is your justice, finding this person, this person coming in to give you a balanced, um, you know, balance out this situation. This is a beautiful outcome with two justice, you know, maybe these could be two, ju two Libras that are coming together. But it's like wish fulfillment, you've got this wish fulfillment, so this is like, you've done this healing from this past, this past trickery, thievery, whatever it is. So this is like the balance. This is like, you know, once you because you've done the healing, you've recovered from this past situation where people have been sneaky, trickery, thievery, whatever. Um, and you got, you know, so you're getting double justice now from this past situation, which obviously was quite hurtful. And this person, this was somebody that you had in the past that was very stubborn, very controlling. Because it's upside down, this is not stability, this is instability. So somebody is coming rushing in who is seeing you trying to move forward and getting this, you know, reward and like financial stability and they're rushing in. This person is very controlling, very, this, um, you know, upside down. Because this person is quite stable often, but they can be controlling a little. But upside down, they're even worse. That's kind of like someone that's cantankerous. Someone that is nasty. 
And this person can be an absolute control freak, maybe a little bit narcissistic, just nasty. So, they're coming rushing in, trying to stop you from moving forward. They're seeing you getting blessed and they can sense it, maybe even. They want to come in, stop you, but this is double justice. You're not going to get, they're not going to get anywhere. That was a great beginning, whatever this is, that you've been through. It's getting, you're getting justice. So you've got this situation here where you've been crying over spilt milk. So there's three cups here that are spilt. There's two more there, but you kind of still focus on the, you're kind of looking over your shoulder and you're seeing that, you know, you're not seeing that there's two cups there in reserve. So in the past, you've had quite a disappointment, you know, quite a few disappointments. You're crying over spilt milk. And as far as you know, there's, um, you know, that you've kind of missed out on your love, it looks like. But... but it looks like you had some real disappointment, you know, maybe your relationships didn't work out very well. But it looks like now you are manifesting. This is like, it's taken you a very long time, but this is what you're manifesting. This is beautiful, happily ever after. This is like home, children, family, everything you could ever want. And it's really coming in for you now. This is like coming in and it's, gonna, it's taken a long time this to manifest but it is manifesting you're holding the wand in your hand and you're looking out into the you know surveying what you, what's coming in for you and this is even though it's taken a while it's coming in but you have to not focus on this past disappointment because you're manifesting something beautiful that's coming in for you <coughs> after this trickery and thievery in the past Page of Swords. So somebody's watching you very closely. Maybe this person who wants to come in. So there was also, oh, there was also some sort of, there was also a trickster. This person, this person here, there was someone that in the past has been a trickster. Because it's this magician upside down. So someone is trying to um, do some kind of uh, tricky behavior. Like, it's like manifesting, you know, when it's the right way up, but it's upside down. It's like somebody that does kind of um, sneaky magic, like someone that is quite sneaky and maybe kind of narcissistic. Somebody that's kind of, um, oh, but yeah, like a trickster. Maybe this trickster's watching you. Immediate pass. So you've got, so someone's watching you. They're wanting to come in, speak to you. The moving, the move so slow. <clears throat> left someone you left it on the cold. The juggler. One more, please. Where? One more. Okay, here we go. So you're getting judgment. So this is beautiful. Okay. So somebody is watching you very closely, right? Someone is watching you. Um, this is a message, but someone wants to come in and speak some truth to you, and they might be watching you. You know, so this is like this is like somebody that wants to come in, speak some truth to you. They they really want to sort of maybe approach you and find out more about you. But it looks like you've left someone else someone else out in the cold. So it could be them that's watching. Somebody that you've kind of left in the past maybe that they were you know so slow, slow moving that you kind of move forward from them and you left them out in the cold so maybe they're feeling out in the cold maybe you ghosted them or they ghosted you or something happened where it's sort of like you had to walk away from them and you left them out and they're feeling left out now so this is like they took so long so you left them out in the cold and now they wanted to come in and speak to you come and have some words maybe it was that they were juggling they were juggling too much Maybe they were also juggling, you know, too much and they didn't have enough time for you maybe and so they had, so you had to leave them out in the cold. But now, this is rewards coming in. This is double rewards because this is like Judgment Day. So you, when Judgment Day you kind of get, um, you have to sort of speak to the higher, you know, to, to God or whatever and they sort of, um, you sort of find out what you've done, you know, good or bad. So you get get just rewards pretty much so this is like rewards for you and anyone that's kind of done wrong is getting punished because this this devil under here is under the wheel and the wheel's turning but you're over the top you're getting the rewards while the other person's under the wheel getting kind of flattened so this is like double rewards for you plus um kind of double karma for the other person so hopefully there's not somebody that's kind of done you wrong or hurt you because it looks like you're moving forward as well from into karma waters so in the past if you had difficulty or you know like um 
things that weren't right now it's getting balanced out this is like this is like double justice for you so it's real double justice everything is getting balanced out for you Aries this is cool Knight of Pentacles so this person has really taken a long time or well, this you know there's something that's taken a long time so you're thinking that things are taking a long time to come in for you whatever you're manifesting you're thinking that it's taken a while and you're kind of getting sick of waiting is it ever going to come you know whatever is this you know what i'm trying to manifest is it ever going to come and it looks like it is so yeah um this is the knight of pentacles so this is somebody that takes this takes a long time um you know it, it really does take a long time for them to come forward but they're seeing you and they're seeing you as someone that they would like to have a relationship with possibly someone that sees you as someone that would potential lover so this is also means that maybe in the past you've had love hate situations which have been difficult for you but you've worked so hard on yourself and you've done a lot of work to kind of like build up your your uh, stability and you you know really tried to manifest something new and now like it's like you're really standing out looking awesome you really are kind of you be, could be famous somebody that's sort of really, really well known really noticed and this someone is seeing you as someone that they would like to have you as a lover you know or something like a love relationship and so they're seeing you working hard they're seeing you bossing up and looking amazing and they could you could have a platform as well so they're seeing you there so they think that you're looking so cool and you're rising above the rest you're like above the rest of the competition and they really want to kind of come in and get to know you but they see that you're a really hard worker as well and that you know you can you take your time and you do things well so this person could also be whoever this is that's watching you they could also be someone that does things carefully the sun so this is like this is the future so this is like future happiness joy this is like beautiful energy what is the sun card so the, the sun card this is leo energy this is um you know this is happy joy this is in the sun card so it's really about happiness beautiful things so in the past you've had toxic situations and you've had to really cut them free you cut yourself free this is like addictions as well so you can have addictions that you've kind of that you've kind of healed from and that you have kind of um cut free from these addictions could have been codependency in the past and this is like someone as well that's maybe drinking too much and spilled all the wine so it could have been that you were you know maybe had addictions in the past and so like this is you kind of cutting free from these addictions and really kind of um oh really healing from this situation this is like you cutting out these using your sword to cut out these past situations it could have been that you had toxic relationships so you cut these people out so this is uh this is the uh, peer to the the masculine figure this is like gemini aquarius or libra this is feminine energy this person can go into war but they're very they're still feminine so this is feminine energy this person is very intelligent as well so you could be quite intuitive as well so you're intelligent as well as intuitive so you know that you can trust your intuition and you know the truth of things so this is leo energy so you've become very strong as well so very strong and you're able to sort of um you know fight your own battles now you've had got the strength of this line so there could be a leo as well so page of cups as well so someone's wanting to come in and offer you something stable they're wanting to offer you their cup here so this is letters this is like messages of love someone wants to message you or you know ask you out somebody's coming forward to kind of ask you out and since you've healed from this past situation these toxic situations you're really ready for something new so it looks like someone's wanting to come and offer you their, their cup and they see you as this queen feminine energy who is very strong four of pentacles so fears you're fearing poverty you've got like a poverty mindset poverty you're fearing that someone might be holding on to you or you're trying to hold on to this past situation so you're kind of like holding on to the past this is double confirmation about poverty mindset holding on to some situations that aren't good for you so you're fearing that someone else is trying to hold on to you someone else that is not wanting to let you go so or maybe it's that you are not letting go of this past situation 
um, someone that might have been juggling you uh, and you're kind of like worried that maybe someone else is going to be like the same sort of person that's going to juggle you and um, but this is like this is poverty mindset poverty thinking so your fears is that you're thinking about kind of the past poverty just you know situations where you've been hurt and it's kind of like you're holding on to these past situations where it's like you got to let that go and know that you have beautiful things coming in because you have done a lot of healing on yourself this is like healing after heartbreak as well going within really reflecting and kind of like healing from this past situation it might take a while to heal but know that this is you know this is possible for you to heal try not to hold on to this poverty mindset because you are getting blessed this is yeah so definitely holding on to past disappointments see that you're not going to be ready for something new if you're still holding on to the past sadness. So, how others see you? They see you as their soulmate. And they see you as this person that they... Um, they see you as some beautiful energy here. This, other people see you as somebody that, that is very caring and loving. Maybe they see you as somebody that could be a mother to their children. Um, and this is like... They see you leaving other people out in the cold that have been toxic. And they see you as this beautiful energy that um, they would like to come in and give something balance to after this toxic situation where you've had to leave people out in the cold or others have left you out in the cold. They see you as, a, as this abundant energy. So this is like balanced. This is like they see you as very just and balanced and financially stable. They see you as earth energy. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is feminine energy. Someone that is very, um, you know, abundant and able to sort of work well. You know, you're very strong and hardworking enough to kind of like be a hard worker to have your own business possibly. Mother energy as well. So very nurturing. So other people see you as a balanced nurturing energy who could be like a beautiful mother to their children and they see you walking away from past toxic situations they see you moving forward and leaving that out in the cold so hopes hopes is that you can move into a new cycle a positive cycle and um so you're hoping also that you can have that you'll be able to find a soulmate that is going to be caring and, and you know loving this you got to stop holding on to this past situation though and know that um it's time to set that free because this cycle is turning it's kind of like time to move forward from holding on to past situations and know that this is your this that there's things coming in for you this is like ships coming in for you this is like um time to move forward from this past situation that you're trying to hold on to the past and you're really trying to hold on to things that are not serving you and this is stability as well so like you're financially stable so you have no need to hold so tightly to past situations so this is also the outcome is judgment so you're getting rewards so Aries the outcome is this judgment card so this is judgment here so that means that other people are getting punished as you are getting rewarded so you've taken this leap of faith to move forward and you have moved forward you have kind of like jumped into this new beginning this is a rewarding new cycle for you and this is your energy here this is aries energy so this is uh feminine energy which is able to manifest something new so this is um leo um Sagittarius Aries energy someone that is exuberant really fun to be around bubbly energetic you know passionate really passionate about the future so this is a passionate new beginning for you and there's this happily this is this happy night that's coming in for you someone that is going to sweep you off your feet someone that is loving and caring and that's going to really balance out this past situation for you so and this other person well, from the past, because you've had this, there's a lot of conflict and disappointment. You've had arguments in the past. You're healing from that. You're moving forward. You're not choosing, you're choosing not to deal with disappointment and arguments and fights and conflict. You are healing and you are moving forward and you're manifesting something new. This is you at a crossroads. You're deciding to move forward and go, go with it and heal. So this is Virgo energy as well. So other people see you as this mentor here who shines the light for others and you're able to manifest something new. You're no longer dealing with conflict. But this other person from your past, if there's other people that have been, you know, hurt you or whatever, their reward is... 
the judgment for these people that have hurt you in the past is that they're not getting they're not, not going to be part of your financial stability they're not going to get this reward this financial stability that you have they're going to it's going to be quite the opposite for them and not only that like your the trickery and thievery that you went through this is all upside down now so you're recovering this is balancing out this trickery and thievery, thievery that you had in the past and this is like also this is also upside down, so they're, they're not also going to be very happy. You're getting the happiness and the joy and the, and the beautiful new things that are coming in for you. But this other person is getting judgment in the opposite way. So this is very sad for them, but very happy for you. Bye!